This is Samir Taneja. This is Great British Chef Signature Series. I think our cuisine is inventive. The, the approach we take is very different. The experience the whole team gets it adds up to the creativity. It, it adds up to challenge. So I will say yes, our cuisine is inventive. The team bringing their home cooking. It is the easiest way to progress. It not only connects the family recipe, it also brings a moment of proudness. The connection is from the roots. Hi, my name is Samir. I'm executive chef of Banana's Restaurant, London Mayfair. Today, I'm going to cook another humble and beautiful and vibrant and floral dish, sea bass, mussel and white wine curry. So off we start. Pan on. Pan with the lid is important because mussels will not open if it's not in a vacuum condition. Pan on in low heat. In the meanwhile, I prep my fish. Sea bass, already filleted. You can fancy filleting your own, but uh, Fishmonger does absolutely brilliant job. Cut into equal pieces. Leave the tail intact. Or, and scoring. Wow. Importance of scoring in a fish. Scientifically, it keeps the fish straight. And flavor wise, the seasoning goes inside. So it's a win win situation. Seasoning. Make sure. It's underscore, skin and back. Tap it so salt doesn't fall off. What does it mean to us uh, winning a Michelin star? How, how should I start? I think for every chef, it's a dream come true. For a team which was already bit down losing it, for the business which saw the early part of pandemic, the odds were against us. Keeping focus, keeping consistency and winning a Michelin star, I think, uh, that's a World Cup for me, that's an Oscar for me. Clean the chopping board, clean as you go, otherwise mom is not happy, never happy. Avocado oil, check the pan if it's hot. Skin side down, push it a little bit with a gentle force to keep the fish straight. Another one. Voila. Be generous with the oil to start with, so the skin is getting crisp and you can discard the rest of the oil. Nice. My understanding of cooking fish is if you cook 100% fish, you have already overcooked fish a few seconds ago. 60% job done. Doing a white wine curry, banana shallots. Cut into half. There is no rule. You can uh, slice the way you like. The way French food looked on a plate, the way European chef treated their ingredients, I never thought we Indians were near to that frame of mind. But I was 100% wrong then, I'm 100% wrong now. So yes, Indian food is as respected as any cuisine in the world. And not only Indian, I think all the cuisine has its own identity. It's the way we see our own food. You know, no matter it's Spanish, tapas, Mexican, Latin, Italian. Okay, doing the garlic, it's very important. I want to show you this. Peel garlic, cut from the middle, take the germ out. There is a little germ running through the middle of a garlic. Very important. This germ should be always discarded. Nothing changes in the flavor, but if you take it out, the digestion would be better. It, it, it aids up your digestion. Like I said, 60%, nice and crisp, bit more. I can still see the protein has not come yet. When the protein starts coming, the white milk starts coming, that means ready to Keep it on the side. At the end of the day, it's curry is going to cook a little bit more in the pan. Check the fish. Nice and crispy skin. Yes, beautiful. Look at that. Golden is the word. I'll use the same oil, but I'll use a little bit less. Yeah, that's enough. It's another misconception. Indian food is very greasy. You need right amount of fat to cook anything. No matter which, which cuisine you are cooking. If the fat is less, it's not going to cook right. The onions are not going to caramelize right. If the fat is more, it, it's going to make the dish finally greasy. So it's a right balance, no matter which uh, cuisine you are cooking. A little bit of mustard seeds. Crackling sound, important. It has to splutter. So the oil from the mustard is imparted in the oil which I'm going to cook my curry. Very important. Shallots. Check your chilies. Start with less, 
then you can always add more, but you cannot take it out. Two chilies. Madras onions. Gently. Don't put it in your pan. Just sweat a little bit because it's going to cook with the muscles, with the juice of the muscles. Muscle in. Make sure they are still intact, close. Pan ready, white wine in. We don't put alcohol in our curries, but we drink hell of a lot of alcohol. We are alcoholic country. We love our alcohol. Why not try to use it in a curry? Full flame. Once you put your uh, alcohol, full flame. Muscle needs enough heat to open, open it up. Otherwise, what happens, it's going to take longer. The result would be a dry muscle. I need the juice from the muscle mixing with the wine and the vegetables, especially the shallots, which is going to give uh, sweetness to the dish. Curry leaf in. Only half the amount now, half I'll keep for last because the freshness of the curry leaf also comes, you know, when it's heated a less amount. And if you, if you check how good your curry leaf is, there's the little trick. Palm, clean hands, no additional flavor. In your hand, rub with a thumb. Close your, close your palm, smell it from the other end. If you can smell the curry, you know, job done. It's a good quality. Turmeric powder, salt. A pinch just to bring everything together. We all muscles also release, releases its uh, salt, so be careful there. Coconut water, like I said, ideally green tender coconut is lovely, but if you cannot get hold of it, can works equally good. Pepper for me, pepper is one humble ingredient which makes a huge difference. A pinch of pepper can take dish to a different level. Coconut milk. Tomatoes in. When you, when you start putting the fresh ingredients, we don't need to cook too much. Once the curry leaves have given all the flavor, you can discard the stem because the flavor is already gone. Look at the colors, how vibrant it is, how beautiful it is. Second, last but not least, coriander. It's so important to use the stems as well. The goodness lies in the stems, not in the leaves. So I use both. Now I have absolutely stopped the pan because everything is ready there. My fish goes, which was 60% cooked with the crispy skin. The heat there is enough now to cook rest of my fish. Add this curry leaves. I, I said, you know, I'm going to put few curry leaves for that last freshness of the curry. It already looks so beautiful. I can serve it like that. To call it off, a little squeeze of lime, absolutely optional, but this last as fresh acidity takes the dish to another level again. And there we go, it's time to plate. Pan down. Again, handling fish is important. You can plate as you like, there's no set rule. Apart from being simple, aromatic, it's lighter in a definition of a curry. It speaks when it's on a plate, you know, it's, it says, yes, I'm on. Absolutely not fancy at all, doesn't need anything. Can't complain. My sea bass, mussels and white wine curry.